So we're gonna talk about subtracting integers today. And you should put me on pause and take a screenshot of this board real quick. So one thing you're gonna hear me say a lot is that subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. When I say this, it means we're gonna change subtraction to addition and the second number goes opposite. And I'm gonna show you some examples of that. So take a look at the chart on page 51. You have a table that looks like this and we're gonna figure out where to start on the number line and our final location, which would be our answer. So the first one is one minus three. Well, if you think about it, if you start with one dollar and then you spend three or take three away, you're gonna end up negative. So on our number line, I'm gonna start at one. So here I am at one. Then if I take away three, I'm gonna go back three spots. One, two, three. I'm gonna end up here at negative two. So one minus three, final location is negative two, which is the answer. The next one I'm gonna skip over for a minute and let's head to the third one. So on the third one, I'm gonna start at negative three. So I'm gonna to go to negative three here. And if I take away five more, whoops, I'm gonna to need to make my number line a little bit longer. Because I need to be able to head to the left five more spots. So then, I lost my marker. Well, I'll stick with this one. So if I start at negative three and I take away five more, I'm gonna drop back five more spots. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna end up here at negative eight. So my answer is negative eight. Now I'm gonna go back and look at these two. So actually, no, I'm gonna head back to this first one. So one minus three, we already know is negative two. Um, we're gonna show that subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So I started out at one minus three. If I switch this to be adding and the opposite for the second number, I have one plus negative three. So again, if I start at one and I add three negatives, that pops me to the left three times. One, two, three, which is negative two like we had before. Same thing here. If I start at negative three, and I switch this problem to add the opposite, I have negatives plus more negatives. I'm gonna end up at negative eight, as we did with our drawings last week. So now, or earlier this week, I guess, really. So now let's take a look at this one here. If I start at zero, I know I'm starting at zero, that's easy but I don't know what to do with this minus negative four. But if I remember, addition is the same, or subtraction is the same as adding the opposite, I'm gonna switch this to be add second number opposite. Now this is real easy. So I start at zero, I add four positives. So I go one, two, three, four, and I end up here at four. So my answer is four. Let's take a look at this one now. One minus negative four. I know that I'm gonna start at one. So I'm gonna start here at one. And I don't know what to do for minus a negative four, but I know subtraction is the same as adding second number opposite. So now I do know what to do. So adding positives moves me to the right four times. One, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna end up here at a positive five. And my starting point was one. So hopefully that helps you to figure out some of these trickier subtraction problems. So always remember, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. All right, so we're gonna start with number 4a. And we are supposed to show how to find the answer of this by using the number lines provided. So, this one is negative four minus negative three. So I know I'm starting at negative four. So I'm gonna go start at 
start at zero. I'm gonna go to negative four first. Then it says to take away three negatives. Well, that always kind of confuses me. But remember, some very bored individual, very long, long ago, realized a pattern for subtraction and it works for every subtraction problem. So we know that subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So let's change this to add, second number goes opposite. We never switch the first number. So now I am adding three positives and I know that adding positives moves me to the right. So now I'm gonna go from here and go right, one, two, three, and I end up here at negative one. Oops, that's not negative one. So I end up at negative one. So 4a is negative one, and our number line proves our work. Now I want you to press pause and try the rest of the questions on number four on this page. Press pause. Question 4b. So on question 4b, we have negative four minus negative four. So again, I know I'm starting at this negative four right here. So first I'm gonna go to negative four. Then I have to take away four negatives, which again, that never really makes sense to me. But I do know somebody figured out that subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So I'm going to add second number opposite. So now I'm adding four positives, so I'm going to the right four spots. So then I'm here, heading to the right four spots, and I end up back at zero. So my answer is zero for this one. So 4c is negative four minus three more. So I'm gonna start at negative four, go back to negative four, and then I take away three more, which pulls me back three more spots. So this one's easier to see. So I'm gonna go back three more spots, and I'm gonna end up at negative seven, which makes sense because if I start with four negatives and then I take away three more, like temperature maybe, if it's negative four degrees, and then it drops three more degrees, it's even colder or more negative at negative seven. But if I don't think of that right away, I always know subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So if I switch this to add second number opposite, I start at negative four, and then I add three more negatives, and adding negatives brings me to the left three more spots, and I still end up at negative seven, because that pattern will work for any subtraction problem out there. So question D is negative four minus four more. So again, this one makes sense to me. I'm gonna start by going to negative four, and then I take away four more. So I drop back four more spots, which leaves me at negative eight. Again, if I didn't see that right away, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So switch to add, second number goes opposite, I have four negatives plus four more negatives. So negatives plus more negatives is a bunch of negatives, negative eight. Question E, four minus negative three. So I'm gonna start at four, positive four this time. And then I'm going to take away three negatives, which never makes sense to me. So subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. And what I always notice is that every time I have this minus negative, minus minus turns into plus plus when I cross the line, change the sign of the second number, or I change subtraction to addition and the second number goes opposite. Minus minus, I always think that becomes plus. So I add three positives, which moves me to the right three times, and I end up at a positive seven. So now, on the next page, there's three more for you to try at the top of the page. So press pause and try the three on the top of the next page. Okay, so here's our last three. So four minus four, we should already know that's zero, but let's show that on the number line. So we're gonna start at four, and then we're gonna take away four, which drops us back to the left four spots. And we're gonna end up back at zero, which we already knew. But let's say we wanted to use our pattern. 
Subtraction is the same as adding second number opposite. So if we go to positive four and we add four negatives, that drops us back four, we're still at zero. It's gonna work either way. Then we have four minus three, which again, we should already know this is one. Positive four, take away three, we get one. But let's prove it. So we start at four. And then we take away three, which drags us back three this way. Or if we add second number opposite, we go to positive four. And then adding three negatives drops us to the left three spots, still ending up at one. And the very last one. This is the hardest one to see without using our pattern. So we're going to start by going to a positive four. So we're going to go to the positive four. And then we're going to take away four negatives, which that doesn't always make sense. So we're going to switch this to add. Second number goes opposite. So now adding four positives is going to take me to the right four more spots. And I'm going to end up at eight. So my answer is eight.